Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Dawn and Christine uh, stash busting session. So this month Dawn um, chose the prompt and it's to make five cards using stickers and wooden elements. So um, I've already made a start, uh, so I don't want the video to be too long, um, but I've pulled out some wooden elements here. So let's see whether I manage to use these. I've got some little wooden buttons in the shape of owls. I've got a bird, butterfly, some jigsaw pieces, and a couple of bows, a word that says love, another butterfly, um, and these um, wooden birthday shapes as well. So let's see uh, what we can do. Um, I've already made two cards. So um, I had these sheets of um, stickers, absolutely beautiful, um, called, <laughs> had them in my, I've had them for ages. They're called Stickeroos, Stickeroos. So they by Penny Black and they are lovely floral images. So this is, you can see I've emptied this page, so we can get rid of that. Um, and uh, so what I did was I've, I'm, I'm using those as the stickers for my cards. So this is the first one I've already made. Um, so uh, just mounted it on two layer, three layers of paper. So one, two, three. Um, trying to bring out the colours of this lovely orchid here. These are stickers as well, these butterflies. And this special day, um, I can't remember where that came from. Um, oh, yes. It came from this sticker sheet, which is one of those um, three, um, one of those special paper pads that had stickers and paper and things. So um, I'm using these stickers as well. Um, so that's the first one. And I just added the wooden bow. So I think that looks quite nice. And the second one, I've used this floral paper. Um, I've backed this this image on pink and then on green. And then I've just put the wooden butterfly and the word love here. So those are the first two that I've made. And we're going to make the other three together. So um, let's clear some space. <laughs> so I've, um, I've had a look at... Uh, at uh, papers and things so um this one i've i've mounted on some uh, orange paper this is sort of a rusty colored orange um i think this is really pretty and i am thinking of putting it on here like so with this underneath um but this underneath has to be in fact, I might do it as square on square on square, in which case perhaps I would be better with a square card base. Okay, I've got a square card base here. I think that, that will be better. So let's see how big this is. Here's my guillotine. Okay, so this one in the, this one in the, this, this middle bit, and this is just over three inches, yeah, three and a quarter inches square. And let's see how wide this is. So that's four and a quarter. So that would give a, so I'm going to cut this to three and three quarters, I think. Three and three quarters. So that will fit on there like so. Yeah, nice. And then this one could be four and a half. Let's try four and a half. I have actually got some five by five card blanks, which might just be better. Yeah, I think that looks nice. So let's first of all see what it looks like on the five by seven card, because I might put something here. So, so that could be like that. And then I could put another um, element there with the sentiment. So I quite like that. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So all in all, I've changed my mind six times already. <laughs> so 
Um, so let's stick these down. So I'm really enjoying doing these um, stash busting uh, exercises with Dawn. Um, when I watch her videos when she's doing how many cards, I thought, oh my goodness, you know. I'd love to do that, but I, <laughs> I don't think I've got, I haven't got the space and I haven't got an outlet really for, for my cards. So, um, well, I could take them to the charity shop, but, um, which I don't mind doing, but, um, you know, right. So that's that. And we'll just put this one on top. So for this one already, I've used a sticker. I might use some more stickers yet. Um, okay, the difficulty is using the wooden elements for me. Um, you know, I'm finding things which go together. So I've got a butterfly there, so I might get away with putting a, a wooden butterfly. Let's see. I'm going to put our sentiment here. Um, Right. I quite like this wooden butterfly on here, so it'll go somewhere. And um just want to look at these stickers, see if there's anything here that goes. Mm. Mm. I, well, there's a little ladybird here, maybe. Maybe this little ladybird. I can get it off. See. see how that goes yeah I quite like that so we'll put the ladybird there I'm going to stick this piece down and uh, we'll go from there see what else we do Looks a different colour, but it's not. It's the same piece of paper. Okay. Um, and now I want to find a sentiment to put here. Um, I've got this You're Amazing. Not very well. Um, oh, I've got some others here somewhere. Let's see. I've got a... This one that says you're amazing as well. Mm. And I've got this, these which say have a wonderful day. So I think maybe I'll stick with that. And I might be able to put it on a bit of this. So yes. So let's see how wide that is. That is one and a half inches. So if I do strip that's an inch wide the guillotine let's do a strip that's an inch wide and let's see how that looks on there yep I'm liking that um Okay. I must admit, I, I don't use stickers very much. Perhaps the most stickers I use are, are, are peel-offs. <laughs> so now I'm wondering, I'm going to put this here. Whether I want that in the middle. I think I'm going to put it in the middle because it's have a wonderful day. And... Maybe there, put the wooden element. And um, I'm going to put a frame around it, I think. The black squiggly line all the way around. 
this hot weather, my arm sticks to the glass mat. I don't know whether you have that problem as well. It's, um, it doesn't want to move. Right, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to do two lines. Oops. There we are. I'd like to put something there, so I'm going to see what we've got. Um, I've got these. These are from the same... Um, the same uh, sticker sheet. Um, I was actually thinking of putting this one inside. I'm going to do that. Um, pop that in there. And I've got these three blue flowers. So let's see what happens if we put these. Just thinking of putting them here. I thought they were squares, but they're not. No. Something like that, just to lift it a bit. Okay, I'm not going to look any further. I've got this bit left. No. And I've got this bit left. But I don't think I'm going to use those. Okay, so that's, um, that's that card done. Have a wonderful day. So that's number three. So I've actually prepared five, six cards here, but anyway, I'm only going to do five. So this one is, I've, I've mounted this on blue, and I was thinking of using this strip to go across there um, underneath it. So this one will be very easy and simple. Mm -hmm. Scissors. Going to cut that there. Um, and cut it quite straight. I'm terrible at cutting straight lines. Right. I was thinking of putting that like that. Looks nice, doesn't it? And, um, and then we'll see what we put for the wooden element. Um, I had difficulty, really, um, choosing wooden elements and stickers that went together, to be honest. I say this is not my forte, but I'm happy to rise to a challenge. <laughs> and um, see, I have got some wooden happy birthdays as well. But I'm thinking, I've got this love here, which I quite like. Um, maybe just put it there. Yeah, let's just put it there. Now, you can colour in the wooden pieces with alcohol markers or um, felt tip pens or um, paint, whatever you want. But I'm going to leave them like that. So this, again, is very simple. Um, I, I will decorate them with a few gems in a minute. So that's card number four. Now card number five. I've got this piece of paper, which I thought was really lovely. Um, and I've got this image, which I thought I could put here. This is um, a bluebell. And then I was thinking I could use some of these flowers around. So let's try that. So I'm going to cut this down a weeny bit. I've had this piece of paper for oh, probably nine or ten years. It was um, it was from the uh, from a pad from the works that I got when I first came up to Manchester. So it's ages old, um, and uh, so it has, as you see, can see, it's got this um, here where I could put um, a sentiment. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to, to co cover it up. Um, this one is better. You might think, what are you doing swapping one 6x6 six six card base for another? Well, 
the truth of the matter was that the six by six card base that I had was a bit chewed so uh, I didn't want to use it so there we are so I'll just glue this down so my cards today are going to be very simple um, I might make this into a tenth fold card um, yeah um, okay and I want to put this here as I said or maybe even slightly over to one side just I just want to cover this um, this bit that looks quite nice actually so um you just see and i've got a recycled card here as well as you can see um i don't know what that came off but anyway okay so i'm going to stick it here i think yep like so and then i was thinking of these lovely flowers here um of sticking these down um, maybe like this and then this piece here yeah I love flowers and um and, and things so I, I don't I don't like this bit here so mm -hmm. um I think I might like them better if I cut off the white edging so i'm just going to stick them back on the sheet for a second and let's do that so, so these these cards are quite uh formal really aren't they quite uh yeah that's formal <laughs> but anyway let's see what this looks like now i can get the backing sheet off yeah oh yes i think that's better um i'll just do the other one quickly So oh, is this is this the fifth one? I think it is. I think it's the fifth one. So there we are. And then I'm going to use this wooden happy birthday on here. So I hope that's not cheating, Dawn. <laughs> Do you did just say wooden elements? So um and this is a wooden element for all just going to stick that there like so um right so let's have a look and see what i've made let's tidy up a bit um i might put this bit inside um i had a feeling i'll just stick this in on the inside to use it up um so let's just tidy up Oh, so sorry, so sorry. Um, so I've used I've I've used um, two sticker sheets um, doing this. They were part used before, I have to say. And I've got this one. I was just going to see whether there was anything on here that might. Um, I'm wondering if this one would add a little bit of something here. Let's have a look. You see what I'm doing? I think I think it will. Um, I think I like this better. So, kind of like this, something like that. So yeah. So that is my that. So that's that card done now. So, um, so I can throw, put all this other bits and pieces to one side this is the one i put that in so 
we've got just put my pin in here I've been really pleased with this art glitter glue um, people, I have heard that it bungs up very easily but I found that by putting a pin in I've had no problems whatsoever so, um, so I'm really pleased so these are the cards that I've made so one two three four and five so I've used all these stickers and I've used lots of um, wooden elements and um, I think I like them <laughs> I think I like them <laughs> I hope you like them too uh, thank you all for watching uh, do go over and see what Dawn makes she's absolutely amazing at, um, at using stickers and things and uh, yes um, and uh, come back on the 15th of next month to see what we stash bash stash bust then in the meantime take care have a lovely day and i'll see you all soon bye for now